Welcome to the Women's Sanctuary, the podcast about tending the soul of women, sisterhood, and the rise of the sacred feminine. I'm your host, Arlia Hoffman. At night, here where I am, the stars are brilliant. The sky is clear, dark, and you can make out the tassels on Orion's belt. For the last three weeks, I have been in a tiny camper in an RV campground in North Carolina. <laughs> Not exactly what I had in mind at the beginning of 2021, and I am so grateful for it. Welcome, friends, to the Women's Sanctuary. So, I, I, um, yes, I found myself in this camper for three weeks as I tend to my beloved dog who is undergoing radiation at a University Hospital, Veterinary Hospital in North Carolina. And a camper seemed to be just the best way to do it. So here we are. He and I have been here for three weeks, and we are about to go home. It has been a magical experience of solitude and simplicity, of discovery and of wayfinding, literally finding my way around the streets to the store and finding my way inside. How do I stay rooted in me in an entirely new environment? I recommend it to anyone, to everyone, to uproot yourself periodically and be someplace new. And find your way. It's good for the soul. And while here in the campground, most people keep to themselves, but I did make a friend. And in honor of that friendship and my experience, I want to share some poetry from John O'Donohue from his book, to bless the space between us, a book of blessings. For the traveler, every time you leave home, another road takes you into a world you were never in. New strangers on other paths await. New places that have never seen you will startle a little at your entry. Old places that know you well will pretend nothing changed since your last visit. When you travel, you find yourself alone in a different way, more attentive now to the self you bring along, your more subtle eye watching you abroad, and how what meets you touches that part of the heart that lies low at home how you unexpectedly attune to the timber in some voice, opening a conversation you want to take in to where your longing has pressed hard enough inward on some unsaid dark to create a crystal of insight. You could not have known you needed to illuminate your way. When you travel a new silence, goes with you, and if you listen, you will hear what your heart would love to say. A journey can become a sacred thing. Make sure, before you go, to take the time to bless your going forth, to free your heart of ballast so that the compass of your soul might direct you inward, the territories of spirit where you will discover more of your hidden life, and the urgencies that deserve to claim you. May you travel in an awakened way, gathered wisely into your inner ground, that you may not waste 
the invitations which wait along the way to transform you. May you travel safely, arrive refreshed, and live your time away to its fullest. Return home more enriched and free to balance the gift of days which call you. On meeting a stranger with respect and reverence that the unknown between us might flower into discovery and lead us beyond the familiar field, blind with the weed of weariness and the old walls of habit. And finally, a blessing for belonging. May you listen to your longing to be free. May the frames of your belonging be generous enough for your dreams. May you arise each day with a voice of blessing whispering in your heart. May you find a harmony between your soul and your life. May the sanctuary of your soul never become haunted. May you know the eternal longing that lives at the heart of time. May there be kindness in your gaze when you look within. May you never place walls between the light and yourself. May you allow the wild beauty of the invisible world to gather you, mind you, and embrace you in belonging. Thank you for joining me on this brief poetic episode. The book again is To Bless the Space Between Us, A Book of Blessings by John O'Donohue. Be well. Take care of yourself and take care of each other. And I will see you here again next time on the Women's Sanctuary.